We have rolling pins turned into clouds. We have thunderstorms that are 10 times more powerful than usual. And we have ghost apples. The ghost apples of Michigan are rare and occur only under specific conditions. Now, before you go looking for them, we need to tell you that they are very rare. And no, they won't come haunting you while you sleep. First, they're found in Michigan and are the result of freezing rain coating the apples. The cold temperatures form an icy shell around the apple that makes them appear like the crystal clear candied apples we find at the circus. However, most of these apples were rotting, then they'd fall to the ground along with the ice. A few of them didn't, though. The rotten apples slipped down the bottom of the shell, leaving only the icy crust of the apple intact. And this is what we come to call ghost apples. Some people freaked out on social media, thinking these apples were magical. Next up, we have morning glory clouds. If you've ever visited the northern part of Australia, you might encounter something called the Australian morning glory. Now, before you get excited, we need to tell you that this is just a unique meteorological phenomenon that occurs in the Gulf of Carpentaria, where a large body of water is located. The phenomenon got its name because it often appears in the early morning and has a distinct shape that resembles a long, narrow rolling pin made out of clouds. These cloud formations can stretch for up to 600 miles and move at high speed, sometimes reaching up to 37 miles per hour. The morning glory cloud is very rare, and it's fascinated scientists and weather enthusiasts for many years. It forms when the air in the atmosphere smashes that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, it forms when the air in the atmosphere is unstable, and several atmospheric conditions combine to create a wave-like effect in the sky. They are relatively low in the sky, reaching an altitude of only 300 to 600 feet, this can cause the clouds to roll across the sky in a spectacular and somewhat eerie display. Even though the morning glory clouds seem strange, they help glider pilots who use the clouds' updrafts to stay in the sky for long periods without using an engine. The clouds' unique shape and movement have also attracted interest from researchers studying atmospheric science and meteorology. They're not life-threatening, but they might seem eerie to someone seeing them for the first time. If you ever look up and see the clouds turned into bubble wrap, take cover, they're known as mammatus clouds and are a formation that's created when cold air sinks and causes the warmer, moist air above it to rise, leading to the formation of these rounded, bulging shapes on the underside of a cloud. The mammatus clouds are very common and are usually found on the underside of a cumulonimbus cloud. The name mammatus comes from the Latin word mama, which means breast or utter. The reason we told you to take cover when you see Mamata's clouds in the sky is simple. These formations are often associated with severe weather, such as thunderstorms, and are commonly seen in the aftermath of a storm. They're often a sign of atmospheric instability, and they often tell meteorologists there's more where that came from. However, because of their appearance, people don't usually go and hide when they see these clouds. Instead, they pull out their phones and start taking photos and videos of them, completely unaware of their danger. Besides looking pretty breathtaking, Mamata's clouds serve a purpose. For example, meteorologists and storm chasers use them as a visual indicator of where the next severe weather will strike. So it's not all bad. And now comes the Kiev Anvil Cloud. In June 2020, Ukrainians started sharing photos of a giant mushroom cloud on social media. Some thought it was a hoax. Others believed it was a nuclear blast. And some feared that Armageddon had come. But it was none of the above. It was an anvil cloud. The many photos and videos by residents and visitors to the city made national and international news headlines. The anvil cloud seen over Kyiv in recent years was particularly striking because of its size and shape. So what is an anvil cloud, and why is it dangerous? This is a type of cumulonimbus cloud that has a distinctive anvil shape. These clouds are formed when warm air rises rapidly into the atmosphere, cools, and condenses into water droplets or ice crystals. As the cloud continues to grow, it can reach heights of up to 60,000 feet or more. However, the stratosphere acts as a barrier and the air begins to form a straight top. Cumulonimbus clouds are quite common in the summer months in Ukraine, especially in the afternoons and evenings when the day's heat is built up. However, this one was particularly large. These clouds can produce thunderstorms, heavy rain, and sometimes even hail or tornadoes. It's believed that the thunder strikes produced by these anvil clouds are 10 times more powerful than regular thunder strikes. Some people found the anvil clouds awe-inspiring and beautiful, while others were understandably concerned about the potential for severe weather. And then we have the jellyfish lightning sprites. If you thought a thunderstorm was bad, how about a 30-mile-wide thunderstorm that looks like a giant jellyfish in the sky? 
These are called jellyfish lightning sprites and look fascinating because they're an extremely rare atmospheric phenomenon typically seen high above thunderstorms. They're named as they resemble the tentacles of a jellyfish. People often see them after severe thunderstorms in bad weather conditions. They're created when lightning from a thunderstorm produces a strong electromagnetic pulse that ionizes the air in the upper atmosphere. They happen at altitudes of around 30 to 55 miles above the Earth's surface. This ionization causes the air to glow and create the jellyfish-like shapes we see. Jellyfish lightning sprites are often red or pink in color and they can be quite large. Some can reach a size of up to 30 miles. They're most commonly seen during the warmer months when thunderstorms are more frequent. The reason we don't see them too often is that they can only be photographed and documented from high altitudes, so the only people who can take a photo or video are plane pilots and astronauts on board the International Space Station. Let's not forget about the sun dogs. Is this image photoshopped? Because last we checked, there was only one star in our solar system. Well, it turns out that sun dogs are a beautiful optical phenomenon. They're also known as parhelia, which means beside the sun in Greek. So what are these sun dogs? They're essentially bright spots that appear on either side of the sun, forming a sort of halo around it. The refraction of sunlight causes them through ice crystals in the atmosphere, which band and split the light into different colors. They flank the sun on each side and form a halo around it. Sun dogs usually appear during sunrise or sunset, which is when the sun is low on the horizon. If they happen when the sun is high in the air, it's because of ice crystals in the clouds. These ice crystals act like tiny prisms that bend and refract the light, creating the halo-like effect we see. Sun dogs can vary in size and intensity, often appearing as bright, rainbow-colored spots on either side of the sun. Because sun dogs are so rare and strange, they've been the subject of myths and legends in many cultures throughout history. The snow donuts aren't as tasty as the ones you find at Dunkin', but they're still mesmerizing to see. They also go by the name of snow rollers or snow bales and are an extremely rare meteorological phenomenon. That's because they can only form when snow and wind combine to create cylindrical shapes of compacted snow. These snow formations can be different sizes. Some are just a few centimeters in diameter, while others reach several meters. It all starts with a layer of snow on the ground. Wind can cause the snow to roll along the ground, picking up more snow and growing in size as it goes along. It's kind of like rolling a ball for a snowman, only nature does the rolling this time. This rolling action creates a cylindrical shape, and as the snow continues to roll, it compresses and shapes the snow into something that looks like a giant donut ring. These snow donuts are usually found in the Great Plain region of the USA. That's because they need light, powdery snow and windy conditions, which is why they're such a rare occurrence. Now, they look beautiful, unusual, and are mostly harmless, but not always. You see, sometimes if the winds are strong enough, snow donuts can become very large and heavy, making them a hazard for drivers and pedestrians. Knocked out by a snow donut? Now that's a hell of a story to tell at work. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.